welcome. I'd like to make sure that all of you can hear me and see my screen, and then we're going to dive in. So go ahead and let me know if you can. Type it in the box, and there we are. Hale and, and Bruce and everybody saying, yes, you can. Fantastic. Thank you very much for being here. This is going to be a totally different kind of webinar with a, a totally different kind of content. And it's going to be something that, quite frankly, if it hadn't been something that I spent a lot of time thinking about, if it hadn't been time that I had actually been doing, I don't know that I would even, um, I would even go ahead and, and, and share this with you. I would do it for myself. But there's a reason why. And the reason is that uh, I want to make sure that there is a way for every single person to succeed online. And my goal in putting on this webinar today is to show you that with the zero content method, you can legally steal, I say, other people's content and dominate a niche. Not only am I going to show it to you, I'm going to prove it to you, and I'm doing it as well. So with that, let us jump in. I hope you're going to learn something that is entirely new to you. However, I want to let you know that I've got a special bonus for those of you who stay on the call. you got to stay on to the end to get this. It will not be emailed. At the end of the webinar, I will give you a link containing a valuable bonus. This bonus is something that will help you accomplish much more in your life. Um, really, it's something that has meant a lot to me, and I suspect it's going to mean a lot to you. It is a downloadable. You can read it, and I expect it's going to have meaning for every single person on the call. Now, how many people here on the call are ready to dive in? If the answer is yes, type it in, and here we go. Okay, again, prepare to be shocked, folks. Prepare to be shocked. This is so stupid simple. Now, many years ago, I told you that my rabbi referred to me as I'm the salmon swimming upstream. When everybody says, do X, invariably, I'll start thinking about Y. The, there was a famous Russian dissident many years ago. His name was Anatoly Sharansky. And he was imprisoned and he was sentenced to life imprisonment and it was shortened to 10 years. And anything they told him to do in prison, the KGB told him to do in prison, he did the opposite. And finally, the United States government arranged a spy swap, even though he wasn't a, swap, a spy, the Russians insisted that he was. And so he was freed. He did not know that he was being freed at the time. And so the KGB pointed to a spot uh, across the bridge and they said, we want you to walk from here to there in a straight line. And because they told him to go in a straight line, well, he did something entirely different. He zigzagged. I can tell you that I can identify the internet marketer that I spoke about this with. It is a, a friend of mine. His name is Keith Baxter. And he looked at it, and he studied what I was doing, and he said, Nobody else could come up with this. This is completely thinking outside of the box. So if you're ready, we're going to, to, to jump in. Now, everybody knows the Dogington Post. I built this site years ago, and 
It was my goal in starting super sites and the viral curation method that as many people as possible have a site like this. But it hasn't happened. Now, don't be embarrassed, but type in why more people don't have sites like this. Type in what you think. If I teach you how to do it, how come? Okay, it's time consuming. Too much effort, too much time. It requires work, too much work. They aren't Harlan. Okay, daily upkeep, too much work, lazy, too hard. People give up. They're too busy looking at other things. Not sure how. It's graphic intensive. Work, staff, money. A lot of work. Okay? Sloth, confusion, distraction, fear, time sensitive, impossible. Okay? Takes too much time. Out of comfort zone. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. What if you could have a site that dominates a niche? but it didn't take time. What if it took five minutes a day? Would that be interesting? Yeah, I don't believe you. Okay, beyond interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. The only reason, I'll the piece and I wouldn't believe you. The only reason that I am doing this is because of the reason that you gave me. Now, a friend of mine, Shana, is on the call. Shana and I have talked, but we've never met. And yes, I do owe you a phone call return. But Shana came with me to with a topic a couple of years ago, a topic close to her heart. And I discouraged her from doing it. You remember what I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention it. I discouraged her from talking from doing it because I said to her it was going to be too much work now it's not too much work um, does everybody see my screen can you see my PowerPoint we're on the dog ancient post page because Hale says it's gone okay people see it so let's go on a little bit so here's my conundrum who knows what a conundrum is who knows what a conundrum is? People say no slide. Okay, well, conundrum is my, let me just make sure. People are saying that they see it. Some people are saying they don't see it. A dilemma, a challenge, a bind, a problem, a puzzle. Okay, so some people see it. Yes, I see it. Paradox challenge. So my conundrum is that I want to help more people do it, but I want to recognize that people don't have the time to do it. And that's the conundrum. So here's what we're looking at. I want you to imagine a site that has gotten over a billion visitors last year. A site that is on track for over 2 billion visitors this year, okay? A site that gets 167 million visitors a month. A site that has gotten as much as a billion page views in a single month. The average stay, the average time on site is um, the average stay or time on site is 22 minutes. The bounce rate is 49.7%. Okay. Let me explain what that mean, means. It's a very, very important statistic, but very few people talk about it. If, if everybody comes to your site and they leave the same way they came in. They don't go beyond that page. Google determines that the bounce, your bounce rate is 100%. If everybody comes to a certain page and they leave the exact same page, they don't go on, your bounce rate is 100%, and Google says your site isn't worth much. The bounce rate 
on this site is 49.7%, meaning 50% of the people go on to other pages. That is really important. The number of page views, average page views per visit is 9.1, 9.1, and that's huge. This is an incredible, powerful site. However, there's zero SEO. The site does zero link building. The site does zero posting of articles on other sites. The site does zero keyword optimization. The site, everybody knows, content is king, except when it's not king. You see, content is king, but here it's not yours. Now, in curating content, we know that we take bits, snippets, a paragraph, and we post something, we curate the content, and we cite what we're doing. That's the way the dog ancient and post runs. That's what you guys told me was too much work. However, the site that I'm talking about is effectively one page in total. It is a single one page site. There is no content, just a collection of headlines. By the way, who here figures that they could copy and paste a link and rearrange the words in a headline? Who thinks that they could do that? Would that be a challenge to you? So you don't create the content at all, okay? You do not create the content. You just copy and paste. So it sounds complicated. The site is all links, and they're all heading away from you. This is the opposite of SEO. And people here are already guessing the site. But this should not work. It's one of the biggest sites in the world. It's in one of the most competitive niches in the world. It's run essentially by a single person who has a part-time assistant. Now, here's the interesting part. The site is one of the biggest sources of traffic to other sites. If this site went down, if this site went down, then other sites across the internet would not have traffic. They love this guy. And this site is worth hundreds of millions of dollars, okay? Virtually no work, zero content. The site is one page. It is a single page website, okay? There is no SEO. He All he does is rewrite headlines and paste links, and it's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Business Insider estimates that it makes from 20 to 30 million dollars a year in advertising. So let's see, no original content, no SEO, run by one person, minimal time, minimal investment, worth millions of dollars. You guys were guessing it. It's the Drudge Report. He goes out, finds stories, posts the link, and, and, and gives it a headline. That is it. And headlines on the site last, they move around, but the headlines last two or three days. So he basically, on a normal day, he posts maybe 
20 new articles and things move around creates 20 headlines and gets paid a million dollars a day a million dollars a day and Tony goes yeah that's a crappy looking site okay so let me ask you a question if you had a choice of making a million dollars a day with a crappy site or having a gorgeous site and not making money which would you choose type in crappy or gorgeous And everybody's typing in crappy, crappy all day long. Crappy, 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 crappy. I'll take the money. Crappy, 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 exclamation points, crappy. And someone says no one stays at Drudge very long. Oh, yes, they do, Eileen. They do stay at Drudge. That's why he gets so much time on the site. Because when they finish the article he sends them to, they go back to him. And so the time on Drudge's site is insane. It's insane they do spend uh, time on his site. What does Drudge do? He checks the news. He has all kinds of feeds coming in. He rewrites headlines and he posts. Boom. He's done. That's it. What does Judge really do? He finds the news for other people that they're interested in to save them time. He curates the news, but all he does is post the headline. He knows what his audience wants to read because he knows what they've clicked on, and he just gives them more of it. He is an unabashedly right-wing site. And people either love it or um, uh, or not. Now someone said, I, I, I've been on his site for 20 minutes now I was there. How does he make money? He has money because he has advertising. Go look at his site. There are Google ads all over the site. And let me tell you something, because his site is so valuable, it is very expensive to advertise on his site. His site is a major money machine. How many people think that his site look, uh, looks ugly? Well, you all told me it's a crappy looking site. Let's go on. And he smiles every 15th of the month when Google transfers approximately a million dollars into his bank account. And someone um, probably needs to go elsewhere because he said, who cares? I'll remember that. So the bottom line here is who else would want a site like this? Who else would want a site like this? And Roy, Raj says, anybody making that much money is a beautiful site to me. Yeah, me too. Look at the st stats. Total visits in the past month, 167 minutes. I'm sorry, 167 million in the past 30 days. Right? Average time on site. Someone said, nobody spends time there? Yeah, well, look at this. Maybe you were wrong. They spend an average of 22 minutes on that site. And pages per visit, 9.0. Because Drudge has no content, people come, they see all the articles, they read this one, then they hit backspace. They hit that one, they hit backspace. They do that an average of nine times every single day. And 49.71 bounce rate, meaning people find things that they want to read. So anyone tells you that this method does not work, just needs to look at these numbers and go, uh, maybe you're wrong.
It absolutely defies logic because he's not doing SEO. He's doing reverse SEO. His time on site, low bounce rate, and traffic are all significant. And Google looks at those and says, that's valuable. But are you ready for the weirdest statistic? This is the absolute weirdest statistic. My programmer, Val, is on, and he says that there have been, he, he looked up and said, a billion visits. In how long, Val? Okay. So, the most important thing, if, if you can't see my screen, and some people can and some people can't, I suggest you log off and come back on, but please stop typing it in. Just... Go off and come back, but please stop typing it in. It's not helpful. So, um, because his site is so valuable, he created something that SEO people are stunned at. He links out to so many sites, Google refers to him as a hub site, and they recognize his value. Again, it takes almost no time at all. It takes almost no time at all for this to um, to work uh, to and and to start getting traffic. Okay. This is a funny site I dug up. This is a guy, Drudge's site is DrudgeReport.com. But Drudge did not buy the name Drudge.com. This is Drudge Report. He didn't think of it. So someone else on the left wing bought Drudge.com. And you would think that this guy has a lot of traffic that's mistaken traffic. The numbers on this site are insane as well. He calls himself the Drudge Retort, the anti-Drudge site. And as the anti-Drudge site, he is doing quite well. Okay. Now the the Dogington Post, my pride and joy, my retirement, its bounce rate is 79.9%. We're doing significantly worse than Drudge. However, my new secret site, following this method, with no content and only linking out, the bounce rate is 17.33%. That means everybody is going on and finding new content. Everybody, just about everybody, is eight out of 10 people are saying, oh, this is interesting, and moving on. How important is bounce rate in Google algorithm? Very high. Very high. So there are a number of different factors. If you have content, then Google says, great, you have content. But if you don't have content, and people are clicking your links and going out, the fact that so many people are clicking your links and finding content through your site is telling Google, hey, this is valuable. So people are visiting multiple pages. 
Does everybody understand the concept here? Okay. Who thinks that this is brain dead simple? Literally. Okay. It is simple. Someone says it's too simple. It is simple, Ayanna. It is simple and that, and someone says, and that's what scares me. Okay. The bottom line is you want them leaving your site because they're saying, oh, this site finds good content. I know that when I go to this site, I'm going to find good content. Simple. You go into a niche. You give them the content that they're looking for. You gather it all together. You post it. And, and there you go. It is seriously impossible to fail because it takes you five minutes. So all you need to do is have content, copy and page the link, link and you're done. Now, if you remember, I showed you the Drudge site. Do you know how many pictures there are on the Drudge site? Maybe one a day, maybe two a day, that's it. He doesn't need pictures. Nobody cares about the pictures. They care about the content. And Bob just said, and Harlan, I know where you're getting your content from. Yes, you're absolutely right. Look at this. Here's the Kilstein process. It, it can't get simpler than this. I post only viral content to ensure it's what people want. How do you know? You're going to put up a site about uh, what's really big like that. I'm going to use this since I'm on it myself. I'm going to use uh, the keto diet, ketogenic diet, ketosis. Well, how do I know what's important? I use my viral curation app and I choose the articles that have, are already viral. I click the link, I find the headline, I copy and paste the link, I rechange the words of the headline, and that's it. I change the headlines. I just post the link. Total time, five minutes per post maximum. If I do this, if I do this, then... Um, if I do this twice a day and I let my site start building, then pretty soon I am going to have, get this, I'm going to have more content on my site than any of my competitors without having any content. Is this deliciously evil or what? So my friend Anna is in the fitness niche. She puts up a site about fitness. All she does is link to the latest trainings, the latest exercise, maybe the latest um, uh, natural uh, and fit um, um, things. And, and boom, she's done. And people who are interested in fitness will go there. No more creating content, no more articles being written, nothing. Simple. Boom. You see? And Google likes this? Yeah. That's the whole point. It's reverse SEO. I'm adding now two posts a day to my site. And we're getting fantastic results. It's curation, but it's curation on steroids. Over time, you can dominate any niche. I'm not going to come in and say, obviously, what you're going to be able to do. But I assure you that within one month, you can have more content on your site than, or you can have <laughs> more headlines on your site, not more content. You can have 
more headlines on your site than anyone else out there. And when you, what are those sites that you are linking to think? If I'm sending traffic to your site, what do you think of me? They love you. They love free links. And they're going to thank you. We love traffic sources. Absolutely. Okay? It takes just five to ten minutes a day. Okay, your first day, maybe it'll take you 15. Maybe it'll take you 20. But ultimately, it's you hit the app, you find the stuff that's already viral, and you post it. Boom. I get traffic from Facebook. I get traffic from Pinterest. Why? Because these are the easiest thing. By the way, Drudge does not do SEO. He tweets, but that's it. Drudge does not do social media. He doesn't do Facebook. He doesn't do Pinterest. He doesn't need to. But for a starting site, if you know you had a Pinterest thing on healthy recipes or Italian cooking or keto recipes, ketogenic recipes, in a very short period of time, you will have all the traffic you need. And if you already have a Facebook page, and if you already have a Facebook group, this is icing on the cake. And you become the go-to site for the niche without virtually none of the work. Now, somebody says, said to me, do you leave links? No, you just, it's like a drudge. All you do is post headlines, and the headlines are the links. So is the secret having a topic with a lot of news? Yeah, you know what? If I'm going, uh, there are people who build sites. That's a really good question. There are people who build sites in topics where they want to dominate the news locally. All you need to do is gather the local news and do that. You'll do it locally. But, you know, if you're going to do something like um, the uh, new metallurgy standards, you're not going to get a flood of traffic. So obviously, the more passionate the niche, the more you're going to do. You could do this, okay, um, Scott says, my group just co crossed 63,000 members thanks to your training. Okay. Uh, what if you have no uh, Facebook site, no Pinterest site, nothing? You start the same as I did. I started with nothing. So Adam says, if I do this for an existing site with a page, mysite.com, um, Will that get me more traffic to my site? Yeah. You know, you could do this, and you'll also make more money. Can you explain why you change the headlines? The answer is, if you copy the headlines, even though you're sending traffic over there, some people are stupid and will, say, will send you nasty letters saying, you're stealing my headlines. So if you change a couple of the words of the headline, you're stealing nothing and you're linking out. That was a very good question. Do you remove the link headline of old stories? They just move automatically. They just move automatically. So someone says WordPress or static HTML. Static HTML is what Drudge does and what the um, Drudge Report does and what Drudge do. But that takes programming skill and knowledge. It wouldn't be simple. WordPress makes it simple. I don't have an AdSense account. Can I use this type of site to get approved? That's a very good question. And I took my new site and used it as the example. And I went to another company I'll tell you the company. It's media.net. 
I showed them the site, and they came back to me and they said, this site qualifies. There are many, many other advertising companies that would be happy to have you and A as well. Can you send some of the articles to affiliate sites? Of course you can. Imagine, let's go on the keto site. We're going to stay with ketosis. That's not my niche, but I'm picking it anyway, just for example. What if I had a column and it was on the right-hand side of the page, all that it was was best ketogenic recipe books, best Italian recipe books, best ice cream recipe books, best desserts, okay? How do you find out what's viral in your niche on any given day? You use the tool that my programmer and I created called the Viral Curation app. Finds it, tells you how viral it is, and boom, you are done. Um, how is this different from blog curation that I least released in 2011? That's another good question. The, it's different because in the blog curation course, you put the content on your site. And most people did not keep it up for very long. The people who did, um, I got an email the other day from somebody who's been doing that course since 2011, and they've become one of the top sites in their niche. But I recognize that most of the people, as we started off, don't want to do the work. This is for people who want the results without the work. It's, it's, it really is this simple. It's results without work. And you can also, you can post, if you have your own products, you could post them on the site as well. If you're selling, let, I'm going to, Hale uh, uh, has a huge t-shirt business and he has a huge site um, and a Facebook group about, about dogs. And what if you posted your own t-shirts on this site? How would that work for you? Am I making money with this? Yes, or I wouldn't be doing it. I wouldn't be telling you about it. Um, and hell just went yum, yum. Okay. So you become the go-to site because nobody is giving the content that you are. And you're just pointing to everybody else's sites. Do you understand now why everybody says, Kelstein, you're going in the face of SEO. This is not normal. You're the salmon swimming upstream. You're thinking out of the box. The only thing is, I only made, I can continue that site. I'm not publicizing the name of my site. I'm not sharing the name of my site because I know that from past experience that other people are just going to go in and, and, and take it. When I started the Dogington Post and the Cannington Post, we had the Horsington Post, the Fishington Post, the Pussington Post, the Mousington Post. We had everything. People were stealing everything from me. But I'm doing this so that every person can have a chance with seriously stupid, simple curation. I want more salmon swimming upstream with me. And I want you to be one of them if you think it's right for you. This is for people who want results without doing the heavy lifting. You can dominate a niche. Curation does not get any more simple than this. Over time, you will grow a valuable site. Now, so if you like doing something that is going to be meaningful, if there is a cause that people are passionate about and you post, okay, Everybody wants to do a celebrity site. Everybody likes celebrities, right? Celebrities. So what if you do a celebrity site 
and you don't spend 24 hours a day like Perez Hilton. You just find the other articles about celebrities and you post it. Okay? Do I think people were, were stealing my content? Oh, oh, they were stealing my layout, they were stealing my content, they were stealing my pictures. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is absolutely simple curation. I use other people's content. I curate can curate affiliate links to make money, like I said, the books. I can put up AdSense or many other ad sites. I can make money with viral quizzes. And the most traffic that I get is from Facebook groups on the topic. Because they're interested in it. Let's say you make a group about ketosis. Everybody's first question is, what can I eat? And you have... Uh, the Drudge is a three-column site. Column one, breakfast recipes. Column two, lunch recipes. Column three, dinner recipes. And maybe, you know, down at the bottom, you put, like, snack recipes and stuff like that. Um, people interested in ketosis are going to come every day to find new recipes. Okay? Um... And the answer is people are lazy. So let's go a little bit further. People are asking me, can I do this with any theme? And the answer is no, not really. It's going to look kind of like crap. And I don't know that it's going to work because the themes are expecting that you're going to post content. So... Um, I've tried other themes, even the theme we use for the dog to post. And you know what? Without pictures, those sites look awful. Um, but it seems to work with, with what we're doing. I'm introducing today what I'm calling the reverse SEO method. It's only for people who want to swim in the direction other than where everyone else is going. Um, it's a four-week course. In week one, I'm going to show you the most likely niches for global domination. I'll also let you know whether I think that your niche has a really good chance. Um, but remember, you know, there are people who would like to post um, to have sites that they've never been able to have the time for. Now you can. Week two, site setup and plugins. Uh, week three, getting traffic to your site, and week four, making money for the site. It's at the reverse SEO method.com. So here's what I do. Now, I normally, most of you know me, is that I never do upsells. This time, I'm doing them because I think that they're needed. Some of you have this stuff, some of you don't. The first thing is the actual course. It's the reverse SEO method. Then you have a 28-day trial to viral curation. That's where you get all of the viral um, titles. Then the Facebook groups program, if you don't already have it, it's up to you. And finally, laser-focused leads that we use for making quizzes. These are all incredible things. Add them up. And you got something really powerful. Head on over. I'm going to type the link in reverseseomethod.com. The bonus that I have there, I'm going to answer questions, is right there. HTTP colon colon reverseseomethod.com. Someone tell me whether I typed that incorrectly or whether I made a spelling mistake. Is that correct? Because I never know. Okay, it's correct. Thank you. The bonus 
link is not working. Um, then remember the me- um, it was the uh, designer was just in there. Maybe she messed it up. If you come back in about 20 minutes after the webinar, I'll make sure it is. Okay? I apologize, but it will be working in a few minutes. Um, okay. So, um, someone asked why Facebook groups. Um, I explained it there. Why? Because it's simple traffic and because you're getting the most passionate people. You're giving the most passionate people the most viral content. Add two and two together, and you're talking about massive traffic. Oh, did I forget to say that anybody who joins today, I will give the theme that I'm using for free? Oh, wow. I'm looking over here at all the sales that came in. Um, this will, I will give you the theme. Matter of fact, not only will I give you the theme, I'll install it and have my person set up your site for you if you join now. ReverseSEOMethod.com. And I'm watching people come in. But that's if you join today. People are saying the site is, is getting hit. The, the, the first class will be next week. My only question is around traffic. That's why traffic is, traffic makes or break this, and that's why we spend time on traffic. If anybody needs a special payment plan, I'm going to type it in. You can call Sandra at 561-395-7400. We're good about special payment plans, okay? Or you can email her at support, oh, let me just put in the simple one, OTC Publishing. at gmail.com. How much? Well, if you, um, if you, um, the, if you, Join, the theme is included. Just posting QRD links doesn't guarantee traffic. That's why I teach you how to get traffic. Uh, Laser Focused Leads has been updated. You missed a major update uh, to it. And um, as a matter of fact, it's being updated again. Um, Val, are we, we're on 2. Point what? Is version 3.0 coming in that has logic? Now you can do quizzes with pictures. It's really, the classes will absolutely be recorded. And um, also we do transcriptions as well. Okay. Uh, people are saying what? We also get the viral curation app. You get a trial of it to see whether you like it. I think the trial is four ninety five, four dollars and ninety five cents to see if you like it. Will there be recordings? Yes. Uh, is most of the material already covered in the No Fail program? No, no, it's not. Those are separate programs. Um, you already have hosting. If it's reliable hosting, yes. I don't like Bluehost. Um, and what's the other one that's similar to that? Um, HostGator. Uh, I don't want to do those. Um, what percent of curated links are updated daily? We do two new, maybe three links a day. That's it. And the site grows. 
viral curation is not included. No, it's an option because many of the people already have it. Uh, version, we're up to 2.2, and that's being updated, Val says. Can you make money fast with this? It depends how fast you work. I'm in super stoked. Oh, how about an anti-site? anti okay, Bob, if you're going to do a right-wing site, like the anti-Washington Post or the washed-up post, that would absolutely work and probably be a lot of fun to do it, too. Uh, when does the four weeks start? It starts next week. Post Monster sucks. Okay. Just go through it when you purchase. It'll take you to the, um, the next thing. The Facebook group is the same program as the no-fail system. If you're in the no-fail system, don't buy the Facebook group program. Thank you for asking. Am I still promoting managing the super site for me program? And the answer is yes, because it works. But I'm doing this for the people for whom it didn't work. I'm making it simple for them. I absolutely support the super site system. You don't see me closing down the dog to post. Oh, no. But this works. Will it work with cuddly chihuahuas? Yeah. Imagine having more um, content on chihuahuas than anyone else in the industry. Um, when you make the purchase, it should bring you back to an upsell page. Um, just when you go to the page, you'll see it, Murray. Um, I, I think I answered, Rev, I think I answered your question before. Um, shut up and take my money. Okay. Very cool logo. Yeah. PayPal is just spinning. Oh no, you guys have done this. You broke PayPal? You broke PayPal. Oh, great. It's probably the site. Give it a few minutes. Um, give it a few minutes. I guess they weren't PayPal. I'm in, ready to go. Can't wait, haven't been this excited. Where do you get info on the programs that you mentioned? Well, when you purchase, it takes you to the next one. Um, updates are not included in laser focused leads because it's a totally different um, thing. Um, go take the trial. Tell me if you love it. How hard would it be? Um, that's a really good question I haven't considered, and I don't want to answer off the top of my, without thinking about it, Scott, but that's a really good question. Do you need a huge budget? No. Um, okay. Can you give... Um, a slightly better deal if we skip the trial. Um, if you just go straight to, I'll type it in, viralcuration.com, you'll see that if you want to pay yearly, there is a slightly better deal or a better deal. So you'd have to go there. Yes, if you have the, the no-fail system, this is the next logical step. I didn't get an upsell, and then something came up and said, order cancel. We can connect later if something went wrong. If you got a, did you get a receipt? If you didn't get a receipt, check your PayPal. If it went through in PayPal, we'll straighten it out. If we can't get in now, is later today okay? Of course. Uh, 
You got the domain italianrecipebook.com? Oh my god. <sighs> That's smart. It's the viral curation software that's on an upsell page. If you're already subscribed to viral curation, just cure, just click no thanks. Uh, Murray, the answer to your question is yes, absolutely. Yes. Because that's your page, it's not a site. Is this better than my other methods? It's different. If someone came to me and they are serious and they know they're going to work, I would definitely say, build the site like the dog ate to post. But I'm a realist and I know that people don't. So I have to um, be more realistic. Can I show you what all the upsells are? Lydia, I would be surprised if you didn't already have them, but it's the, um, the viral curation app, it is the Facebook program, and laser focused leads. Yes, Jennings, if you would give me a half hour, I'll get that fixed, I apologize. My, um, my graphic designer probably took the link out. I tested it and it worked, I'll fix it for you, I promise. Just come back to the page in a half hour. No, it was not something sneaky on my part. Promise. Can you use AdSense on this? If you already have an AdSense account, yes. Does this involve Facebook ads? No, actually it doesn't. Uh, the replay will be posted to anybody who registered. Okay. So, any last questions? Because I love answering questions. It's the teacher in me. So, any niche that you found too difficult to work probably will work here. Any last questions? Thanks for the info. I can't believe the silly questions you get. Okay. Cheap for me because I have all the upsells. When will the training start? Next week. Cooking? Absolutely. Cooking and recipes? Yes. Or the niche you're already in. The site is growing. Yes, all links are visible on the page and disappear, and then they go into the archive, yes. If you don't purchase the upsells, will we still be able to use? Yes. Bruce will talk. I'm thinking about that. It's, it, it, it's, but you keep all pages of an existing site. Um, I have to think about transferring a site over. Tim, I sent you an email back. Language should not matter. No. How long is the two pay option open? Why would I take it away?
Will the new training be recorded? Absolutely. All trainings are recorded. Okay, so you want to do both. Great. Yeah, Dave, that is too general. I want you to be more specific. If you wanted to do a specific type of what you just typed in, I'm not going to say the, the niche, um, a specific type, then hell yes. But don't be too broad. If you understand what I'm saying. Golf, gardening, um, yeah, these are passionate things. How to grow, best recipes, best homes and gardens, garden design, yeah. Um, if there are people who are passionate about that, Eileen, yes. The email is otcpublishing at gmail.com. Sandra will get back to you. Bonus report, not accessible. I'll fix that. Give me a few minutes. I'm having difficulties with PayPal. Um, purchase today. There are a lot of people on the site. Give it a few minutes and it will straighten out. This happens because so many people want to join. It's kind of crazy over there. I'm just watching stuff coming in, okay? So, um, there you go. Email Sandra, Bruce. Rant Rafer, would it... I would take, Rafer, I would take the word, the second word off and just do it on the first word. Or I might take a similar word to that, to the first word. Am I making sense? So you would do your first word and a similar word and dominate that niche. Am I making sense? Yes, exactly, Dave. Um, Glenna is not involved in this project. Um, uh, Glenna and her boyfriend have launched a successful business and they're barely available to me. Those are, um, Adela, those are, both of those are huge. I like the first one better. Um, Dwayne, you have to go through it and, and, and see what it would be. And by the way, for those of you who are super lazy, are there any really super lazy people here? Super, super lazy, okay? Does anybody here would put their hand up and say, I am so super darn lazy that, you know, I don't even know what to do, okay? So we're going to, or super busy, in the first week of the program, we're going to offer you someone who will do all of the work for you and put up the entire site with content for you, okay? Iran, that would definitely work, okay? So folks, head over to the reverse SEO method. Give me a few minutes. I will fix up the report for you. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. And the replay will be on that same site. Bye.